hello everyone welcome to test ng tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can read the parameters from the test ng xml file so we have already seen that uh, we can create test ng xml file based on different you know uh, categories of the test cases for example regression functional sanity bvt etc so um, there is a, you know a functionality that is available in test ng and you can utilize that to externalize the data into your test suite uh, as well or the test ng xml file and then read the data from there so in the previous tutorial or the very beginning tutorial of the selenium series we had seen this login test right and uh, here i had explained that uh, in this particular login test this browser detail you might be reading from you know external configuration for example the xls or csv file and uh, this is uh, something you know that will most probably be externalized and uh, it can be externalized into your test suite as well so in the test ng framework i can use uh, this you know br browser detail instead of uh, hard coding these details into my test cases I can externalize that into the test ng xml file and read that data from there okay so we'll look into the reading this configuration from xls in a later tutorial but for now i want to explain how you can read this you know configuration from the external uh, you know from the test ng xml file okay so let me copy this uh, you know test and paste it in my current test ng project and here we'll do the updates and see how we can use this uh, functionality to read the data okay so now previously you know because we are using test ng framework we don't need this main method anymore okay so we can simply say public void and we'll define simple method so we'll say uh, launch application okay and this launch application uh, method uses uh, or it requires uh, browser right so it requires browser details because we are passing the browser detail and uh, based on you know if the browser is firefox or chrome or edge it launches the browser accordingly and performs this particular login test right so this method requires one argument right so which is the browser name okay so i'll simply say browser okay and uh, so now we know that this particular method will require the uh, argument one argument which is the browser now previously we had hard coded this in the test case so we will remove that we'll simply comment that out right now i want to read this particular you know browser detail from test ng xml okay from the test ng framework so let me copy uh, one of the test ng file and uh, let me include this particular you know uh, class into that particular file as well okay so i'll paste it and i'll simply say test ng uh, this is yeah let it be two and in this particular file the class that we want to um, test is basically login test so it is in the ui package and the class name is login test right let me show you that particular class so yeah so this is the class that has that particular code now let me name this suite as uh, reading data or uh, browser details from test ng xml okay and same thing i'll copy for the test uh, name as well okay now to read uh, the data from uh, the test ng xml we first have to define the particular data into this particular file right so to define the data what you need to do is you need simply need to add the tag parameter okay so because this particular uh, you know method here launch application requires one argument so one param parameter that you need to provide and that will be possible when you define the parameter in the test ng file so you can simply add the tag parameter all right and provide the name and value of that particular parameter okay so the name is uh, say browser because this is the 
browser and value depending so for example i want to launch my test case on chrome i'll simply provide the value as chrome from here and that's pretty much it so what now we'll need to do is now we have defined the parameter for this particular you know um, test and now we need to read this right so in test ng we need to use annotation test right now because this is uh, our test so we'll input import test ng uh, test annotation and in order to read that particular parameter we need to add the annotation parameter parameters okay and hover over and import parameters from org.testng okay and in the parameters what you need to do is you need to provide the details of the parameter right so what parameter you need to read from that particular file okay so the parameter that is defined in this particular file the name of the parameter is browser so we need to read the browser all right so we'll simply copy and paste the browser here all right so the name of the parameter that is defined in this particular excel file now when you will run this particular login test from this test ng file if i just right click and run this test suite then this particular parameter which is you know the the value of that particular parameter which is chrome in this case this will be read from you know uh, uh, this particular xml file test ng2 and will be passed on to this particular method and because that value is chrome the browser will uh, the chrome browser will launch and perform all these steps test steps on the chrome browser let me remove this so basically now what we have done is we have externalized all the details right so I've formatted and let's go to this test ng2 right click and run as test ng suite and this time it will launch chrome browser and perform that test successfully on the chrome browser all right so you can see login has been successful and it has closed the browser so here you can see that login test launch application and the browser is chrome right so reading browser details from test ng xml is the name of the suite and the test as well now if you want to run uh, this on a different browser so for example edge it changed the value to edge just right click and click on run as test ng suite and this time it will launch edge browser and login and close the browser and here you can see that it has launched the browser edge and similarly if it is you know like firefox then change the value to firefox and run the test on firefox you see that for firefox is launching and the test will get executed in firefox now the advantage of this is now that we haven't included or we haven't hard coded the browser value in our test case and say for example this browser uh, you know because browser values will be required in most of your test cases say you have you know test cases uh, which are like 200 or 500 number and if you start hard coding these values in your uh, test cases it's really difficult to maintain your test cases and maintain these values uh, you know in your test cases so it's very easy to externalize that or parameterize these into you know external xml file or the test suite file and whatever test cases whatever classes are being uh, you know used so for example you have a test suite regression test suite which has 200 test cases then if you change your just value or uh, to you know firefox or chrome or edge here then all your 200 test cases that are part of that particular uh, you know test suite will eg will execute on this particular browser the browser that you will choose the value that you will choose here and this is not the just about the browser you can also uh, you know uh, add other you know parameters as well say for example you know different uh, test environments say pre-production or uh, you know sit environment or you know uh, other uh, test environments that are available in your uh, you know organization and along with that different you know urls you need to uh, you can also provide those parameters as well so depending on what your need is accordingly you can utilize this functionality 
which is really uh, good functionality to read the parameters from the external from the test ng xml file so that's all about uh, this particular tutorial about how to read parameters from uh, the test ng xml file hope you like it thank you very much for watching